On today's video, Plaid Cybertruck is confirmed and is now in the NHTSA database. It was submitted on August 23rd. Cybertruck was shot up along with a bunch of other details and memes about Cybertruck. Starting off over at X, you can see Elon Musk reply to a uh, X post from Farzad Misbahi, how he was going crazy saying, yo, WTF, LMAO. Someone went ahead and sat up Schreiber truck legitimately. Elon responding, we emptied out the entire drum magazine of a Tommy gun into the door, Al Capone style. No bullets were penetrated into the passenger compartment. Now, how do you like them apples? <laughs> Isn't that wild? Now, of course, someone uh, earlier today caught Cybertruck during the day, essentially the same one, obviously. Um, and you can see it's all just shot up. Like they legitimately did shoot it, like trying to make this thing the toughest thing possible, which I've been preaching to friends, preaching to people online that this thing is going to be the most you know, badass truck that is out there made to do work stuff. You can see the dirt all, all, you know, along the sides of it. They're putting this thing through its paces and now it's ready, you know, to go out to the public. And of course, a few memes for you. This is the same cyber truck from that post. Someone, you know, did a decent job with the Photoshop, put it in here. And from a picture from a few months ago or this summer of Elon, you know, just going ahead and having some fun being a patriot to the country. And of course, someone went ahead and put a uh, <laughs> Cybertruck logo on the side saying it lined up um, with 69 rounds. Of course, the joke that's always used by Elon and all of the engineers to go ahead and <laughs> make some jokes here, which is really awesome. Now, um, there was a post to someone saying that... Um, you know, someone caught a cyber truck parked somewhere and it had the bullets on it. I couldn't find a picture because I guess the picture got deleted. But since I'm Detroit Tesla, someone said, uh, great, cyber truck is going to survive regular parking in Detroit, which if you guys know, <laughs> Detroit's a pretty dangerous city outside of downtown. Now, moving on, um, we have the official NHTSA Vindicator 2024. Now, these first couple pages are just explaining for pretty much all Teslas, Model S3, Y, X, all of them of how, you know, how you decode the VIN. Um, I'm going to link this in the description so you guys can check that out. Most manufacturers have this. And then we come over to the section. This is Tesla Semi and Cybertruck. As you guys know, um, Cybertruck along with Semi is being pushed out, Semi before that, but as you can see, we start to get over to the gross vehicle rating, GDVWR, and uh, Class A, obviously, 31,000 pounds. That's obviously a Class A semi there. Um, and then we have two categories, Class G and uh, Class H. So you can see for Class G, we have uh, 8,001 to 9,000 pounds, and that's pretty much on par with most like F-150s, Silverado Customs, Ram 1500s, right, because those are the, the big trucks. So uh, sorry, Toyota guys. But um, then you go into the class H, which is 9,001 9, to 10,000. And then you get right over here that confirms that, you know, the dual axle wheel drive, all that, that's designed for semi. And these two right here are designed for Cybertruck. And as you just saw me go there, triple motor. And what would triple motor be? Performance, a plaid Cybertruck. Now people are saying, oh yeah, it's going to be a tri-motor, but no plaid. Like if you guys understand how Tesla works, they're not going to go ahead and do that and waste their time. They're going to simplify everything. They're going to make it simple. And I just can't wait to experience experience the launch of you know a tri-motor cyber truck assuming that it's going to be a thousand horsepower probably going to be limited at 120 miles per hour but if you want to view this document yourself this is official it's on nitsa's doc, doc, uh, gov's website i'm going to link it um so just some more information i'll link this to the cyber truck owners club them kind of breaking it down um someone made a, a good analogy over on facebook on the cyber truck uh, national or international group that essentially um if it's ten thousand pounds gvwr 
and a load capacity for that in the bed is 3,500. We can, you know, safe to say that the truck empty uh, with no load, with no people in it is probably going to be around 6,500 pounds, which is just a uh, good one. Um, here, this individual has been tracking. Uh, so Tesla submitted to NHTSA on 8-23-2023 um, for you know, all of the information for the VIN decoder, which has to be 60 days from initial sales because that is uh, the law in the United States from NHTSA and the government, which is awesome because that's well over <laughs> 60 days, right? August, September, October, that's a lot more. Um, and then you guys can read the rest of this, um, what class it is. People are just speculating. You know, a lot of people speculate in this group. Um, but of course, we have this awesome picture of the Cybertruck towing the Jack Dante Starship engine. Someone said those around 4,500 to 5,000 pounds, which is really cool. Now, to give you guys some perspective, I towed with my Model Y that I had before I uh, upgraded to um, the Tesla Model S Plaid. And just to correct myself from earlier reading quickly as I'm multitasking, 3,500 pounds for the Raptor engine, which is nothing. Um, tow currently with my Silverado, probably going to get rid of that once I get Cybertruck in a few years, if if I get it in a few years because there's so many people in front of me. And essentially what happened was I barely felt like there was anything behind me. And that towing capacity uh, of the Model Y was 300, um, excuse me, was, uh, you know, empty. The battery could do like 322 miles, 330. I was getting 120 miles, but um, the towing capacity was 3,500 pounds. And you know, with my uh, equipment trailer that weighs 1,500 dry or empty, for those of you that don't know what that means, and with equipment, it's just at 1,500, so 3,000 total. Used a professional CAT scale to go ahead and, you know, measure that out to see um, how much it, you know, weighs with the uh, trailer attached and, you know, to see the actual weight that I'm towing. So is it going to do 0 to 60 in 2.9? If it's a plaid, I think so range of 500 miles i think so for the plaid version or they just might do that for the dual murder version i don't know but that's all we have today for Cybertruck. again november 30th uh, reservations are going to be fulfilled and customers are going to get deliveries so thanks for tuning into detroit tesla i'll see you soon